All right, welcome back guys. So in this video, we're gonna set up our store. Uh, so we're just gonna make a store module really quick. So ng generate modules, I'm gonna call it app store. And that looks good. And that should be here. I'm gonna rename the directory to just store. And Let's change this a little bit. I'm gonna app store module from store, change this to dot app, and do 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 do. And we're also gonna get rid of these two because we're gonna add it to our app store module. Do that looks good. All right, in the app store, we're gonna add the ngrx store at ngrx store and we're also going to add the dev tools ngrx store dev tools that'll give us access to the redux um, console uh, yeah the redux dev tools in our browser and then also I uh, forgot to install NGRX effects, so we're going to do that right now. At NGRX effects, because we're going to also import the <coughs> excuse me, the effects module from NGRX effects, and let's get all of these really quick. So the store module, store dev tools module, and the effects module. All right, and all those goes inside of imports. So we do store module, and we just do a for root of an empty object for now. We'll change that in a bit. Store dev tools module dot instruments and effects module dot for roots and this is a has to be an array so I'll make it empty for now and I'm also gonna put effects up here uh, just to alphabetize it we're not gonna need any declarations so we can get rid of that okay. So if you're coming in from React and Redux, you'll know that our store needs um, two directories. So we're gonna make those, or not touch, it's gonna be make directory, source, app, store, for reducers, and app, store, actions, okay. So let's start off simple and we're just going to implement um, the actions and reducers for errors. So let's do that. Um, source, app, store, actions, error, errors, dot action, dot ts, and touch stores. App store actions not actions um reducers errors dot reducer dot ts okay so let's open these two up and I'm gonna double check that our app store is correctly added which it is so that's good so now we're gonna work mainly inside of the store directory. So let's make some actions. Um, let's see, actions, actions. So let's see. Uh, we need to import action from ngrx slash store. I spelled it wrong. And we're gonna export an enum of error action 
action types. So normally, um, let's see, how do I want to do this? I would do adder as one type, and in the console, it's going to be error add error. And we're also going to do remove error. Now, the read, uh, React and Redux convention is the error type is just the same all caps and snake case, but I actually like the NGRX convention where it has the error, or not the error, the action type on this side. And then the type of action it is, if that makes any sense. The basically which reducer it's gonna go into, and then the actual action type on the right side. And then each actual action is gonna be a class. Add error. Implement action. It's gonna be read only type equals to error action types thoughts add error and constructor of payload uh could be any is this public yeah it's public okay so instead of uh, creating a an object on the spot for each um, action type. We're gonna create a class so we can. They can all be reusable um, objects. Let's remove error. Implements action. Read only type is gonna be error action types dot remove error and. Let's see, the payload here is going to be whatever error is coming in. Uh, for remove error, there's not going to be any payload. So I'm just going to do, do an empty constructor. And then finally, we need to export a type action, which is going to be a union type. So it's going to be either add error or remove error. And that's all there <coughs> that has to be done for uh, actions in NGRX. Now for reducers. Um, let's see, where's my reducers? Uh, da, 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 da. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna import a couple things from. Um, App store actions slash errors actions. And we're going to export interface of the error state, which is going to be errors any. Uh, because it's going to be anything because we don't know what's going to be responded from the API. It could be a 500 error, it could also be a server error, or one of our errors that's being thrown. And then of course we need an initial state, initial state, which is a type error state. And that's going to be error no. There we go. And then finally, we need to create the actual uh, reducer. Um, let's just do this. Uh, it's going to be error reducer equals to an error function. And also, I'm going to give it a type state error state action is going to be a type action 
and that type is going to be imported from Paris. And what we get back is the error state. So uh, this part is the type uh, of error reducer, and then this part is the actual function. So let's do that. State equals to initial state as a default parameter, and then action is going to be of type action. Now we need to, I'm going to save this to give us more room. All right, now we need to do our usual switch statement that most, um, uh, what is this called? <coughs> Redux reducers look like. So action type, there's going to be a switch statement based on that. And then for each case, add error. No, this is the wrong one. It's going to be error <clears throat> action types dot add error we're gonna return dot dot, dot state and then error is action dot payload case error action types dot remove error we're going to return state error <coughs> is null. And then finally, default case, we're going to just return the state. Something went wrong. Um, do, 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 do. Why is this like that? Da, 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 da. As in something. Oh, weird. I guess I'll get back to that later. Um, so that's all we need for the error action and reducer. Now we just need to add it to our um, module. So let's see. Um, so a couple things. In our module file, we're going to um, keep track of all the reducers. Reducers, which is going to be an action reducer map. And error is going to be the error reducer. I'm going to do any for now. <clears throat> and then this reducer is what goes into our for root for the store module. Reducers. Now, let's see. Uh, we also want an app state. So export interface app state error error states and then we can finally add this here app state and there we go that's the basics of the ngrx store that we could do and it has the error reducer here which and the app state is what the entire state of our application so with that let's actually test out our our error reducer. So I'm gonna implement what is this on in it? Add the function of ng on in it. Also add a constructor. And this is gonna be private store um what is this? Store app state. I'm just gonna do
do uh, this dot store dot dispatch the action that we want to do. So I'm gonna do new. Um, what's this? What's it called? Add error. Okay, so new add error. With the payload of error uh, message. So this function is going to run as soon as the app is loaded, and we are going to see it do stuff really quick. So do an open. We're actually it's gonna it's gonna open on its own. <clears throat> so there's our application. And we inspect and look at the Redux dev tools, we can see that the add error a reducer has happened with our state having the error message. I might want to change the name of this because it's error.error.error. But, yep, yeah, that's, uh, that's all we get for now. And that's the basics of all synchronous, uh, synchronous actions and reducers. In the next video, we're going to implement authentication using the store. And that'll actually be where this effects module comes into play because we have to take care of asynchronous events. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video.